Hello everyone, this is Jesse Guzman with Concentris, and today on this short and sweet video, we're going to go over finance charges. Finance charges are a great tool within NetSuite, um, very little to set up, takes very little effort to set up, and can make your life a lot easier, uh, especially if you're in an industry where uh, you are assessing finance charges. Now, I know, understand that finance charges are usually in every MSA contract we talk about. Um, and there isn't always an easy way to keep track of those past due invoices and keeping track of making sure those are going up. So I'm going to walk you through the process, show you a little bit of the settings, and then show you how to run the finance charges. So administrator, making sure you have the permissions to do this, you're going to go set up accounting, scroll down and find your finance charge preferences. Now, this is the setup that you'll do um, to make sure how you are uh, setting up your your charges. So in this case, I decided that I'm gonna have an annual rate of 18%. Now, obviously this will all be dependent on your specific terms and conditions that you have. I've associated a GL here, which is non-operating revenue finance charge income. Uh, I'm gonna say that this is non-taxable. Okay. And you'll notice this grace period, I'm giving five day grace period. Keep that in mind, because I'm gonna show you in the uh, sample how that works. Um, and then we're gonna say that our minimum finance charge is gonna be 1.5%. Um, there's a little checkbox here that says whether you could assess finance charges on the finance charges as well. So that's up to you. Like if um, obviously their balance goes over into another month and now they have finance charges, do you wanna include that in the calculation? Yes or no right here. Um, I'm gonna assess from due date, usually the easiest. And then obviously you can set up your form. I'm not gonna change the form. I'm just gonna keep it as so. Okay, we'll go ahead and save those. Those are all saved now. Now, in my case, I've got an invoice here that I did for a fictitious company. And the invoice date was 9-1-2021. The due date was 10-1-2021. As you can see, today is 10-17-10-21. So they are past the due date. The invoice was for $1,000, right? So as part of your accounting process, um, you know, once a month, once a week, however, however the standard operating procedure is, the finance team, the accounting team can go here to transactions, customers, and should be able to see here the assess finance charges. So when you click on this assess finance charges, you'll get a page here that will let you find uh, specific invoices. This is much like the filter pages that we see on other screens. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna go to Huffman Manufacturing. That's a subsidiary I'm using. Um, you can further, narrow down if you wanted to. Um, keep note that obviously these are all ways to filter, uh, but this date is a very important field. Now, let me show you why. So I'm gonna scroll down here and look for my JG, which is here, JG. And you notice it's gonna assess a finance charge of $7.89. Why 7.89? Well, that's based on the 18% annualized um, and the day of the month that I'm setting it. So again, this is why it's dependent on your um, accounting procedure and when you're going to assess these, right? Um, and I want to show you something else. So if I change this date and I go back to the 4th of October, this list will not only reload and change the finance charges due, but if you notice, we also can't find our JG invoice here anymore. Now, the reason for that is that grace period that we set up in the setup finance charges field. So it is gone. If I move this date two, remember due date is 10-1, so I think we have until 10-6 technically, so I'm going to move to 10-7. Again, you'll notice that these will recalculate, and what you should see here is our JG, and notice there's a 296 fee here. Now, the 296 is due to the different days. Keep in mind, we also had a minimum finance charge of 1.5%, so that is a minimum finance charge that will happen on the uh, $1,000 invoice. And then we also have the um, the days that it keeps going. So I'll show you this a few more times. I'm going to move this to, to uh, let's say, Friday's date, the 15th. I'll scroll down here to my JG. Again, $6.90. You can tell this is changing on a daily rate. Now, again, this is dependent on what your procedures are. Let's say you're going to issue them at the end of the month. Right now, obviously, we're getting ahead of ourselves here because it is not the end of the month. It is currently 10, 17, 21, but you could see how that would work. So let's go back and set it as of today's date. Have that redo. 
I'm going to go down and select just JG. Keep in mind, you can do multiples. You can do all of them. You can do however you'd like. Um, you can't customize this view, which many times you can, um, but you can sort by different, uh, all these different uh, header fields here. Um, also keep in mind here that this last finance charge is telling you the last time a finance charge was assessed against one of these companies. And you can see we've done it a few times here. And then you'll notice that you can even override the finance charge that you're going to assess. So let's say it's going to be 789, but you agree that you're just going to do it at five bucks or whatever the case. You can see some of these finance charges are quite large. You may ask why. A lot of these records that I have in here are back from 2016, 2017. So we're in 2021. So it's assessing quite large finance charges on these old, old invoices. So all you do here is you simply click save. It'll take you to a processing page where NetSuite will process the invoices. Now in our case, it was just one invoice. It was very quick to process, gives you here. If you have multiple transactions processing, you can expect it to take a little bit longer. And when we open the invoice, one of the great things that you'll see that NetSuite does, which is a really cool thing, is it actually will tell you on the description what it's assessing the invoice, um, what invoices it's assessing the finance charge to. And this is based off a safe search that NetSuite automatically runs in the back end, puts it into the description for you under your finance charge item that you've created, right? And uh, we didn't go through that step, but you would imagine you would need to create a other charge, finance charge there that would show up. And you have that, and you could then send this to your customer via NetSuite, whatever your process is at that point. Um, an easy way to keep track of finance charges. Um, again, I know it's a tactic not always used, always in the terms and conditions, but if you need a way to execute it, NetSuite has you covered with the finance charge procedure. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more short and sweet videos. Thank you.